Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So Wednesdays are ruled by Mercury. Mercury is in heart-based cancer now. So um, our thoughts are in this very psychic, watery realm. Um, so we may be perceiving things a little bit more clear in a sense that it's not so uh, focused on the reality of a thing, but seeing the all of things, right? So the the intangible with the tangible, like we were talking about yesterday, you know, so <clears throat> um, it's definitely a good time for um, loving communication, heart-based communication, um, communicating things that really um, spark joy and happiness within you so that you can really connect with that feeling internally fully, right? And it's in a, a benevolent aspect to Jupiter. So we're expanding on this. We're growing through this, right? Growing in our psychic abilities, growing in our ability to intuit a thing, to trust and have faith and um, move forward on our path, on our journey, from our heart space, you know, what it is that we truly align to what feels good for us. And so the moon is still in Mercury. Mercury. Mercury is the ruler of where the moon is, which is in Virgo. Okay, so um, Virgo is in opposition today. The moon in Virgo is in opposition today to Neptune. So some things may be coming revealed to us some we may be gaining some sense of clarity from the past because neptune is in retrograde you know and um doing some healing surrounding this um, maybe some health healing maybe just some mind healing um taking us and pulling us out of places we have kind of been imprisoned into where it is that we've been our own worst enemy right clearing out subcon subconscious clutter from old experiences past that don't allow us to live a full healthy life um whatever health is in regards to us right because it's different for everybody nobody is true nobody's the same so it's also in a benevolent aspect to uranus so this is changes again within our body within our values our sense of self-worth within our possessions may be changing how we um attain finances or something um random may be coming up in regards to um service work however it is that we um what we do for our day-to-day -day life we may be receiving um something uh big in a sense but also long lasting so we may be receiving some large gain from the work it is that we put in because uranus use rules aquarius which is what aquarius is All right this is also about the future this is supporting us forward going in the future something um that's gonna ground and stabilize us stabilize our life stabilize our world especially on a financial means and basis in practicality All right so let's see some of us may also be thinking about traveling moving home we may be um our homes may be moving from where it is that we are maybe not necessarily at a distance um at a far distance but in a different space from where we've been in up until this point something we've kind of like just only imagined and wanted to happen is now taking place maybe we are taking step you know things happen in 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 in, in strides so we may be like at the beginning of this because the energy that this that's presenting this is at the beginning stages of it all right so let's see what else do we have here and later on today um it'll be in a benevolent aspect to pluto which is also in retrograde all right so with that this is going to be bringing some changes to things that have been revealed what has been um things that have been hidden from our sight our shadows right and working through that healing through that um we may be connecting with those that can help restructure help us restructure uh of where it is that we've been operating in our shadows okay um 
we may just be doing this on our own or we may be the ones helping someone do this, helping others do this, really supporting them through manifesting um, a new sense of going about life uh, and building that uh, and on a solid ground, right? Something that's in an unwavering kind of energy, you know? So let's see what else is here for us today. Spirit, what would you like for us to know today? And the sun is in an opposition to Pluto. That is in uh, Capricorn and Cancer. So um, <clears throat> we may be seeing something about, ooh, something may be being revealed to us about our roots, about our past, about our family life, our home life, maybe even our relationship with women, how we interact with them. Um, and how, or maybe even how it is that we find security in building that. What What is that going to take? Whether that is security within ourselves, safety within ourselves, or even with our actual home house, right? This may also be uh, something coming up in regards to the women in your family, your something with your mother or surrounding your mother could. All right, so let's see. Oh, and the moon is in a sextile to the sun, which is in Cancer. Okay, so we are doing the work to bring our, our heart and our, our being, our sense of self together so that we can express ourselves more fluidly, so that we can move and walk through life more fluidly. Um, that, that, that's easeful, that's grounded, that's secure, that's sure of who it is that we are, but we may also be seeing this out in reality as well, something maybe coming about um, that requires change in regards to these areas of life. So what's here? We got here, get grounded in paths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. So it's a good time to be outdoors. It's a good time to get some sun if you can. Um, put your feet in the grass, get really grounded. To all my, super, we're all super sensitive right now. Even if you're not naturally sensitive, the sun is in Cancer and Mercury is in Cancer. So we're all there collectively right now. So it's a great time for us to get grounded within ourselves. Uh, so we're not picking up other people's shit, stuff. You know, they're how, you know, although other people may not recognize that they are in control of their emotions, it's important that we be in control of what it is that we're taking in because at the bottom here, we even got protection. Call your power back, cut the cords, soul retrieval. So this is like, where did you, where have you let yourself be, sense of self, your sense of innocence be corrupted in order to, um, in order, and for love, right? For, uh, to, to support another, to make another feel good about whatever it is they're doing, to go along for the get along kind of thing so everybody can be happy, but also protecting yourself, right? In this sensitive nature. Um, so that you can also recognize what's yours and what's somebody else's. You know, um, <clears throat> we tend to take on other people's things, other people's energy and not, not really recognize that. Some more than others, some people, you know, just don't have that, but a lot of people do. A lot of us are very sensitive, especially those of us who do a lot of spiritual work, who do a lot of self-reflection, uh, tapping into self self-awareness and everything and that really speaks to that mercury um <clears throat> that mercury trining jupiter and that sun trining neptune okay so um a lot of sensitivity going on like we're picking up and receiving a lot of energy water it's our receivers okay so what are you picking up that's not yours what have you picked up that's not yours what do you need to give back um what do you need to allow to transform or just simply let go of we can always protect ourselves by imagining white light covering us from our feet up all the way up you know doing some deep breathing getting in meditation all right, and we have the mice here. So we're changing our minds here. This says, um, it speaks about recovery after great difficulties. So definitely a change in mind. We are growing, we are healing. 
Okay, we are <clears throat> walking through a new door, finding a sense of justice as well, um, which is why we need to get grounded because we are elevating and we are evolving. We have uh, a, a, attained a sense of success in our perception, in our thought patterns, right? And this is through our subconscious, through our psychicism, right? And at the bottom, we have a more someone... This is Cupid, so you may be receiving an offer of love, or someone may be um, looking at you with an eyes of love. So it's important to show up in a sense of discernment because when Cupid shows up, it can be like a sense of infatuation. You know, it could be um, not that it is not long lasting, but you know, people hold an idea of us, and however. You know, and it, it's just important to make sure that we are operating in a sense of discernment and not um, giving ourselves away in by means of trying to please another. Okay, so know that whatever has been afflicting you, whatever has been holding you hostage in your mind, we're coming out on the other side of that. That's why it's important to get grounded, do some meditation today, do some deep breathing. Okay, there are plenty of guided meditations on YouTube that you can listen to. Um, hypnotherapy is always great for that as well. Okay, so if that's something you're interested in, hit me up. But um Yes, and, and, and take care, because mice also speak about gossip, right? So uh, pay attention to where you're gossiping about others and um, protect yourself from the gossip of others, right? Because that is throwing negative energy at you. Um, you know, people be psychically attacking other people and thinking that they just kicking the shit, when in reality, like, no, you throwing negative vibes at people. <laughs> like, do, do they deserve this? No one does, honestly. And so, you guys, I hope that this is helpful for you. I hope that you have a wonderful day um, and a wonderful Wednesday. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.